Hello and welcome to Grindforce Gaming. I'm Falcon and I'm here to show you how to complete every shrine in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we're making use of a windy device at the Ishodag Shrine. Before we jump in, it's only through your support that Grindforce Gaming can exist. So please take a moment to subscribe to the Grindforce Gaming channel. And if this video helps you out, give it a like before you leave. Now, let's beat this shrine. The Ishodag Shrine is located in Hyrule Field, just west of the map center, on a small raised plateau. The title of this challenge is A Windy Device, so we're going to be making use of Zonai fan devices to solve this shrine. First, we'll come to a ledge that's too tall to reach, but nearby is a Zonai fan. Grab it and rotate it so that the fan is aimed upward, and then set it down next to the ledge. Hit it with a weapon to activate it, then jump above the fan and open your paraglider. You can ride the wind up to the ledge. Next, we have a body of water to cross, so we'll need to craft a boat. Grab the nearby Zonai fan and attach it to one side of the wooden plank nearby, making sure that the fan is aimed outward. Set your new raft in the water, hop on, and hit the fan to activate it. This will carry you to the last area. After crossing the water, look to the right and you'll see the shrine treasure chest, just out of reach. Grab one of the nearby fans and attach it to the opposite side of the stone slab. Turn on the fan and the slab will spin up, with the treasure chest right side up. Now grab a second fan and place it on the ground. Activate it and use your paraglider to ride the wind and reach the treasure chest. For the last puzzle, we need to set up a multi-tiered fan system. Grab one fan and set it down facing upward in front of the last platform. Grab a second fan and place it inside the platform. Turn both of the fans on, then use Ultra Hand to grab the platform. Lift it halfway up the wall and hold it there for several seconds. Then let it drop. Now position yourself in front of the first fan. When you're ready, use the recall ability to bring the platform back to the position where we were just holding it. After using recall on the platform, immediately jump and paraglide from the first fan up to the raised platform and ride the second fan up to the exit. There you have it. That's how you beat the Ishodag Shrine in Tears of the Kingdom. If this guide was helpful, give it a like. And make sure to subscribe to the Grindforce Gaming channel so that you never miss out on our newest content. I'm Falcon, thanks for watching, and enjoy the grind.